In this video I'm gonna show you how to take off my old tile piece from my violin and put on my new Whitner tile piece with four fine tuners in place. Coming up! Hello everyone, welcome back to Violin Less Online. This is a free online violin school for absolute beginners as well as for advanced players. If you are looking for free violin lessons, you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Visit my website so you won't miss anything. Please let me know your opinions, thoughts, questions. Simply use the comment section below. You need a tape. Then take an extra piece like this and put it in front of the bridge, right there. Then take a pen and make a sign. When you take the tile piece away, the bridge will fall down, so you will need to put it again in the same position. You go ahead and pull the strings down. Not too much, just the amount needed to get them off from the tile piece. You can actually remove the bridge already. We need a little bit more, a little bit more. And let's try. Yes, this is almost going. We need more. It's gone. The other one also. And the other one also. Well, almost. That way. Now we need to remove also the chin rest using chin rest key. That's it. Now, be very careful. From the moment you take away the bridge, you take away the pressure of the strings on the violin. That means that from this moment, the sound post, which is this piece of wood right there inside, is absolutely without pressure. Because, you know, the sound post is put there, there is no glue. It means when you take this away, don't move the violin too much, be very careful. It can be that the sound post falls down, which is not a tragedy, but you should contact a violin maker, because to put the sound post again in place is a little bit difficult. So now we can take our tile piece off. This goes inside back inside because we don't need it basically now so this is our old tile piece this is our new tile piece so what you need to do now is to make sure that the length of this piece is the same as this other piece and which is very simple to do with a Whitner tile piece let's try so I think this is a little bit shorter that way let's try it out now make it a little bit longer let's have a look now I think it's okay so what I do is to go back to my violin put this here like that. I think I can make a little bit longer, actually. Just a little bit, you know. That's it. Now it looks nice. Okay, now let's put the strings back. So we take the E string, and we put it in the right place. Oh, I think it's too short. Yes, it's a little bit too short. Let's try it. 
try now. That's it. Yes, I have it. And once the string is inside, we do like that and we give tension there. Perfect. Not too much, not too much, just as much as needed to keep this tension. Then we take the G string just just to give a balance, you know, put it inside that way. Exactly the same, basically, like this, and give the tension. Not too much, as much as needed. And we do the same thing with the A string and with the D string. That's it. Now we need to put the bridge back. You see the bridge has a shorter part and a longer part. The shorter part goes toward the E string. So that means we go down and I see there is too much tension. So I give a little bit back. A little bit back and try again. That's it. Make sure that the strings are in place. Make sure to position the bridge exactly as it was. This angle here should be 90 degrees. That means if you put the bridge like this, it's not good. This is very good. Now you can put the right tension and you can even tune the violin without any problems. And after you tune the violin and you're ready to play, check again if this angle has changed. If you have any questions, if you think there is anything I am missing in this video or if you have any special requests on what video you would like me to do next, simply let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Visit my website so you won't miss anything. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, then give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. So that's all for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.